Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a table into your report and also how to insert a table of tables or an index of tables. So here's our report we've been working on so far, and I'm going to put this table around about here. So let's just zoom in, and I'm just going to press the return key to give us a little bit of space and put the cursor in the middle of the two spaces. Then I'm going to go up to insert, along to this table icon, click on the drop down, and I'm going to insert a table which is five by four. Now, if you need more rows or more columns, what you can do is go up to insert. On the drop down here, you can go down to insert table. That will then bring up the options where you can insert the amount of rows and columns that you want. Because on the initial drop down, it only gives you the ability to insert eight rows. Okay, so from this, I'm going to show you how to label it and insert the contents table. And then I'll come back and show you how to format this table. So now we've inserted our table, we're just going to highlight it. And the way to do that is to either click on this small square here. If you don't have that small square, just click and drag. Then go up to References, then along to Insert Caption. When you get to Insert Caption, then you're given the option here. You can change this if you want to, but I'm just going to add Example to it. And then again, you've got the options of selecting whether this is a table, a figure or an equation. It's a new label. I want the label to go below the table, but you can select above if you wish. And then I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, my label appears here. I don't want this to be in italic, so I'm going to highlight it, go to the Home tab and just uncheck the italics icon here. Once I'm happy with the table, as I say, I'll come back and format this in a second. I want to introduce the table of contents here. So this one's obviously table of figures, so I'm going to insert table of tables. So I'm actually going to just copy and paste this title, this heading, and just change this to tables. And then below here, I'm going to put my cursor here, go to References, go to Insert Table of Figures, and then it's already identified that I've been using tables, and it's already selected tables here. I'm going to select from Template, but you can obviously go to different options here, which will give you a different layout of your table. I'm going to choose this tab leader, which is the dotted line that you see that runs from the title of the table to the page number. And then just click OK. And as you can see, my table appears here. Now, if you were to add another table, I'll just quickly show you how to update this because it's not always that clear. So let's just copy and paste this. So copy the table. I'm just going to paste it below. It's going to quickly insert uh, another caption, click OK, and as you can see, that's just come up. I won't uh, format this yet, I'll just go and show you how to update the table. So now we've got two tables. If I go back up to this table of tables, you'll see that it hasn't automatically updated. The way you need to do that is to get your cursor, just click and drag over this table area here, this contents area, then right click on your mouse and go down to update field. And then it says here update page numbers only or update entire table. If you check update entire table and then click OK, you can see that the additional table appears here. So I'm going to go down and let's just zoom out and go to multiple page view. If I then just take this table out, highlight it, press delete, highlight the description and press delete. Then again, go back to this area here, 
click and drag, right click, update field, and again, you've seen that that's now updated. Great, now let's go back to the table. Now let's insert some content. So once you've got all of your content in your table, then we can go ahead and format it. Now one of the easiest ways to do that is to highlight the table, go up to table design, and then of course you've got lots and lots of options up here in this drop down that you can select from, which is absolutely fine. But if you want to customize it yourself, then there's a variety of things you can do. So first of all, if we highlight the text here and go up to the home tab, you've obviously got this section here in which you can change the font size, the font color, the bold, and also where it's aligned. So I'm just going to click bold and center alignment. If you want to change the color of this particular row, then whilst it's highlighted, go up to table design, go up to table design along to this shading icon, click on the drop down, and then you can select from a number of options here. If you can't find the color of your choice, you go to more colors, and then you've got the color wheel here, which you can use to select the color of your choice. Okay, so I'm just going to select a gray. And then again, with the extra text here, you can highlight it and center it. And then if you need to make these rows a little bit wider because your text is too close to each other, then again, highlight the text, go up to table layout, and then you can go to these two icons here, but in particular, this height one here. If you go to the up or down arrows, it's very simple. As you click up, you will see that your table and subsequently the rows will adjust in height. But as you can see at the moment, the text is at the top in the center. And for most people, you'd rather the text be in the center of the cell. So again, very simply, you can select from these different options here where your text should sit. And I'm going to select center, center. Perfect. There's lots of other things you can do with your table. You can change the borders, and if you want to change the borders, select the table again, go to table design, and go to this section here, which deals with the borders. So you can click your border style, obviously you can change the color. And then this drop down here is all about how thick your lines are. So let's say for example, I choose two and a quarter points. Then I can obviously change the color and go along to this border icon here. Click on the drop down, and then you can select which of those borders you want to highlight. So I'm just going to select, if you select outside border, you can see it will only affect the outside border. And again, if I just wanted this row to be surrounded with this black line, and so a black line, thicker black line will run across here, highlight the row, go back up to borders, and again, go to outside borders. And it will put the outside borders to those rows that you have selected. If you need to split a column or a split a cell for any reason, highlight the cell, go to layout, and go along to split cells. And there you can choose the number of cells you want to include, so number of columns. So it would mean if I chose two, it would split this cell in half, making it two. So let's just do that now. And as you can now see, we have got two columns in this one cell. Again, if you wanted to do it the other way, split the cells and you wanted one column but two rows within that cell, which means it's going to split the cell this way, just click OK. Now, sometimes the table does some things that are a little bit funky, so highlight these two cells if you don't want this thick black line here. So what you want to do is to make this middle line the same as everything else. So go to the drop down, select quarter point, go to borders, and go to inside horizontal border because that, that border runs in the middle of your selection. Click OK. And as you can see, the line is the same as everything else. If I wanted to split my table, so I split it along this line here, 
if I highlight these two lower rows here, go to layout and select split table. And there you can see it has split my table in half and included those border lines as well. Let's just go back. And likewise, if we wanted to join cells together, if you highlight the two cells, go to layout and select merge cells. And it will merge those two cells together for you. So the easiest way sometimes to increase or decrease the size of your rows and cells is just to hover your cursor over the top of the lines here and just simply pull left or right or up and down. It's completely up to you. Now sometimes what you'll do is you'll split a column and you want everything to be equal. So let's say for example we highlight this column, we say split cells and we want to split that whole column in half. So we've got number of columns, two. Click OK. And you can see it's messed the wording up, but what we're trying to achieve is that all of these columns are the same width. So what you need to do is to highlight your table and then go up to this distribute columns. And what that will do is it'll make all the columns the same width. So just click on that. And as you can see, it's made all the columns the same width. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.